ways I like to prioritize my mental health is managing my use of my cell phone. So I think it's really important to be proactive about finding that balance between using your phone and having your phone use you. Especially as a people that have to deal with traumatic experiences blasted on their timeline on a consistent basis. I like to keep healthy, at least mentally healthy, by eating lots of ice cream. <laughs> It makes me really happy. I do have an extensive background in customer service and because of that experience, I've had to absorb a lot of negative energy. It's made me become a very big advocate for mental health. You don't want to have lived a life of just anguish and negativity and much, much more beneficial to fill your life with joy and wonderful and happy experiences. Sometimes I do experience burnout. So there may be some days where it doesn't have to be like a self-care day for me. It could just be like I'm sleeping <laughs> to relax my mind and basically like reset. Within the last few years, I've been really trying to make time for myself to explore my creative side of things, which for me manifests as like dancing. Give yourself the time and space that you need without giving yourself the deadlines along with them. Some things I do for my mental is planning. So I do a bunch of virtual planning on my iPad and it just puts me at ease. It makes me feel like, okay, you do have things under control. You do have your day planned out. And making sure that those goals are actually attainable in the hours that we are given in a day and making sure you stick to your plan and stick to your routines is really important for my personal mental health. How we deal with the stigma of mental health in our community is really just communicating and talking about it, have these conversations with anybody. I think that it is very important to emphasize how necessary therapy is. Honestly, like anybody and everybody can do therapy. It doesn't have to be that you're in a horrible situation or, you know, the worst is happening. I think it's a beautiful way when people are open and you're talking about perspectives and then you're realizing how others have the same similarities as you in different situations. And you would have never known that if we don't have these open conversations. Happy Black History Month.